Imagine a missile so fast that even the most advanced radar systems have no time to react. Fatah, Iran's hypersonic missile with its extraordinary speed, has reshaped the game of warfare. In these tense days across the Middle East, rumors of it hitting specific targets shock the world. In this video, we examine the step-by-step -step functionality of this missile. Fatah was first unveiled in 2023, but the version reported two days ago was a more advanced one, Fatah 2. According to released information, this missile can strike deep inside enemy territory with high precision. And that leads to the key question, how exactly does Fatah work? Fatah is a hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV, meaning after launch, it exits the atmosphere and then glides at high altitudes. This gliding makes its flight path unpredictable, and that's what blinds enemy air defenses. The first stage is launch, powered by a solid fuel booster rocket. This stage propels the missile to an altitude of about 50 kilometers. At that point, the booster separates, and the glide warhead enters its flight phase. From here on, Fata becomes nearly untrackable. Fata can exceed speeds of Mach 13, roughly 16,000 kilometers per hour, 10,000 miles per hour. At such speed, only minutes are needed to reach the target. And this high speed is one of its most critical advantages. But Fata isn't just fast, it's extremely maneuverable. During glide, it can change course moment by moment. This renders enemy missile defenses almost useless. Its body is made of advanced composite materials, capable of withstanding the extreme heat of hypersonic flight. Surface temperatures may reach thousands of degrees, yet its unique aerodynamic design keeps it stable. FATA's guidance system combines inertial navigation, GPS, and artificial intelligence. Especially in the final phase, it adjusts its path in real time using onboard processing. This system enables Fata to hit not just a location, but a specific building. It's said that Fata 2, recently used, has a range over 1,400 kilometers and an accuracy of less than one meter. That means it can target a single building from over a thousand kilometers away without any system even detecting it. Recent rumors suggest Fata was fired toward intelligence-related targets in enemy territory. True or not, the mere capability of such an operation signals a new kind of deterrence. Experts say the message is clear. Active defense is no longer enough, real deterrence is now essential. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles, Fata does not follow a fixed path. Its trajectory is dynamic and full of unpredictable turns. This makes even systems like Iron Dome and David's Sling ineffective. It poses a strategic threat to any nation. High speed, advanced maneuverability, and mid-altitude gliding a ruthless combination for an offensive weapon. Not trackable, not interceptable, not predictable. This is the modern definition of a hypersonic missile. But FADA is more than just a missile, it marks Iran's entry into an elite club of technological powers. Until now, only China, Russia, and the UAs possessed such weapons. Now, the Middle East has a new player. Footage of the launch shows a uniquely shaped warhead body. The sharp nose and special curvature are designed for precise guidance in high atmosphere. Small side fins help maintain balance at extreme speeds. And all this works without human operator involvement. In the final stage, Fada dives vertically or at a sharp angle. At that point, no defense system can respond effectively. Only a few seconds remain before the target is destroyed. That's why it's been called the Unstoppable Hunter. Reports even suggest that before impact, Fata can receive live imagery. It can confirm the target intelligently before striking. This feature works through an encrypted data link 
between the warhead and command center. And that's exactly what defines the next generation of warfare. The question echoed across the media. Can Israel respond adequately to such a threat? Some analysts believe there is no clear answer yet because current systems aren't designed for this level of speed and agility. In response, Israel is reportedly working on laser-based defense systems, but those projects are still in the research phase. Meanwhile, Fatah is a real, active threat on the battlefield, not just a promise for the future. Unlike crews or traditional ballistic missiles, Fatah does not appear on radar nor is it traceable. Its only signature is the impact, and by then, it's usually too late. If reports of its recent use are true, this marks a turning point. A weapon beyond anticipation has entered the field. Interestingly, Iran insists that Fatah is not an offensive weapon, but rather a deterrent meant only for retaliation. Yet its nature allows for preemptive scenarios as well. And that's what has pushed the region into a new phase. Another key question, can FATA be launched from mobile platforms? The answer is yes, meaning high mobility, rapid response, and surprise advantage. With such launchers, deployment locations remain hidden. The enemy never knows where to defend. Some sources claim FATA 2 can defeat multi-layer defense systems from Iron Dome to David's Sling, rendering them ineffective, because its speed and angle of attack are outside their design parameters. This means it exceeds anything previously encountered. At the strategic level, FATA is more than just a weapon. It's a political tool, two showcasing technological power, broadcasting deterrence, and shaping media narratives. These three aspects together make FATA a multi-dimensional weapon. Although its full technical specifications remain classified, field reports and launch footage have revealed much. Analyzing that data reveals one thing. FATA is truly astonishing. And it's no longer just a claim, it's a fact on the ground. So the main question for any viewer of this video becomes, are we witnessing the dawn of a new era of missile warfare? An era in which even a single missile can shift the entire balance? The answer may lie in the future, but Fatah has already brought that future closer.